You're welcome to Open Heaven's Devotional Commentary, a guide to a close fellowship with God. I'm Salam Manager Haruna, your host. We are glad to have you. Hello, good day, and thank you for joining us today again. Open Heavens is written by our Father and the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adebue, General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and this commentary intends to bring insight to God's Word by the help of the Holy Spirit. Today's date is Sunday, the 30th day of June 2024, and our topic for today says, Start Hearing from God. Please let us pray. Our Father in Heaven, King of Glory, we thank you for this opportunity, this privilege to be gathered before you again. We thank you for the gift of life. Thank you because it was you who preserved us to this very moment. Thank you for taking us through the previous week and for bringing us to be once again before you. We ask, O Lord, that you would speak to us. Please cause our hearts to yearn for more of you. As you speak to us today, help us to incline our ears to listen and our hearts to obey. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our memory verse for today is from the book of John chapter 8 verse 47. John chapter 8 verse 47 reads, He that is of God heareth God's words. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. John chapter 8 verse 47. Our text for today is from the book of John chapter 10, would be reading from verse 2 to verse 5. John chapter 10 from verse 2 to 5 reads, But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep hear his voice. And he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. And when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goeth from them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. And the stranger will there not follow but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. John chapter 10 from verse 2 to 5. God bless the reading of his word to us today in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our topic for today once more says, start hearing from God. And in the body of today's devotional, our Father and the Lord says to us that Jesus Christ said, my sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. John chapter 10 verse 27. This means that you don't have to be a prophet to hear from God. All you need is to be his child. I am praying for you today that the Almighty God will cause you to hear from him more clearly. When God begins to talk to you about what he wants to do, it shows that you have become his friend. In John chapter 15 verse 15, Jesus Christ said to his disciples, Henceforth I call you not servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth. But I have called you friends, for all things that I have heard of my father, I have made known unto you. God said about Abraham that he could not hide whatever he was about to do from him. God is sovereign. He doesn't need permission from anybody to do anything. But there are certain people he must talk to before he does anything. You must sit down and really assess your relationship with God and become so close to Him that you can hear from Him yourself. You need to get to that stage where He will not hide anything from you. When you read Genesis chapter 18, you will discover that Abraham was a friend of God. That was why God never hid anything from him. Abraham wasn't just God's friend. Romans chapter 4 verse 16 describes him as the father of faith. Since without faith it is impossible to please God, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, Abraham being the father of faith means that he really pleased God. You can get so close to God that he will tell you his secrets, things he won't tell anyone else. In John chapter 13 verse 21 to 26, Everyone at the table asked Jesus about who will betray him. He did not answer them, but he answered one fellow who was his favorite, John the Beloved. It is such a beautiful thing to be able to tell anyone, no matter who they are, God did not say that. 
it shows that you are so special to God that if he is to talk to anyone, he will talk to you. For example, in 1 Kings chapter 22 verse 6 to 28, many prophets prophesied falsehood. But Micaiah, who heard from God directly, stood out and spoke the mind of God and it came to pass. If you are close to God, you cannot be deceived by anyone. I pray for you that soon God will be sharing his secrets with you in Jesus' name and we say a mighty and resounding Amen. God bless his word to us today. Hallelujah. Our topic for today once more says start hearing from God and to me this sounds like a spiritual instruction where God is willing to speak to someone who is hearing this word today. It is one thing for God to speak and another thing for us his children to hear. The fact that we do not hear does not necessarily mean that he has not been speaking because it is possible that we have set our own ears to another frequency where we cannot hear him. In today's study we are made to understand that hearing God is not only meant for prophets. It means that God is willing to speak to anyone who would listen. It means that God can speak to you and I, hallelujah. All you need to do is just be his child, be born again, we are his sheep and he's our shepherd. However, if we do not belong to his fold, we cannot hear him when he speaks to us. In today's study, our Father and the Lord, for example, quotes from John chapter 10 verse 27, where our Lord Jesus Christ said, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. The benefits of hearing God's voice can never be overemphasized. You would agree with me that the man who hears God's voice will always enjoy supernatural advantages. He would get access to privileged information. He will not miss out on what God is doing in that time and that season. He will avoid making costly and unnecessary mistakes because God's voice will always lead him aright. Hallelujah. In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us that when God begins to talk to you about what he wants to do, it shows that you have become his friend. So even as we human beings have friends, God also has friends too. And what a privilege it would be to be one of his friends, hallelujah. To be one of his friends who would always hear him and receive privileged information, we are reminded that faith is very important. We are told that without faith it is impossible to please him. Abraham, for example, which we see about in our study for today, had so many reasons to doubt God. In fact, he had waited for so many years and it never looked like God's promises were coming to pass. Someone else would have probably thought these promises are empty promises, but he chose to hold on and to replace every unbelief and doubt with dogged faith. Today, we refer to him as the father of faith, and we can see that God is truly faithful, as every word of promise made to him was fulfilled. Also, to be friends of God who would always hear him speak to us, we can never overemphasize the place of obedience. Our Lord Jesus Christ, speaking in John chapter 15 verse 14, said, Ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. It means that to have a special relationship with him, to be his friend, where you speak to him and he speaks back, where he grants you access to classified information and tells you of things to come, you must obey his commands. You cannot be such friends with someone whom you disobey. Hallelujah! Obedience is a proof of our love, honor and submission to him. It is also very important to always be willing and available if we want to be his friends and to hear him speak to us. Even with our earthly friends, you cannot be too busy not to speak with your friends and expect that your relationship would flourish. You have to intentionally be available. You have to intentionally make out time for him, make out time for fellowship and communion with him. Scripture tells us about Samuel that he was in the temple sleeping when God called out to him. 1 Samuel chapter 3 from verse 1 to 4 reads, And the child Samuel ministered unto the Lord before Eli. 
and the word of the Lord was precious in those days. There was no open vision, and it came to pass at that time when Eli was laid down in his place and his eyes began to wax dim that he could not see. And ere the lamp of God went out in the temple of the Lord, where the ark of God was, and Samuel was laid down to sleep. And the Lord called Samuel, and he answered, Here am I. The same Samuel who was a little boy became a prophet in Israel whose word never fell to the ground. 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 19 tells us, And Samuel grew, and the Lord was with him, and did let none of his words fall to the ground. Hallelujah! In today's study, our Father and the Lord tells us that if you are close to God, you cannot be deceived by anyone. You will not fall for the tricks and the deception of the enemy, especially in these last days. Because you can hear and you can detect, you know the voice of your Father. It would be the same way you would easily tell the voice that is not His. So this is very necessary for us, especially in the times that we are. I'd like us at this point to bow our heads and ask the Lord to say, Father, please grant unto me hearing ears and understanding minds in the name of Jesus. Please open my ears to hear your voice. Ask the Lord to say, Father, speak to me and help me to hear. Help my ears to pick your voice as you speak in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today that we will be his sheep and he will be our shepherd. We will not be goats. We will not belong to other folds. He will speak to us and we will hear and obey. Ask the Lord today for the grace to be his friend. That nothing will come between us and him in the name of Jesus. Ask him for the grace today to have dogged faith. Faith that is unwavering. Faith that will remain standing in the face of storms. Faith that is unshakable and unmovable. Faith that remains an evidence for us even when our eyes cannot see the promises that he has made to us. Faith that would stand the test of time and receive the promises that he has given us. We receive today in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord also today for the grace for obedience. That we will obey his every instruction. We are called his friends when we obey his commands. Ask the Lord today for the grace to obey his instructions. That we will not be rebels. We will not be arrogant. We will not be full of ourselves when he pass instructions to us in the name of Jesus. Also ask the Lord today for the grace to always be ready and willing and to be available for his use in the name of Jesus. Ask the Lord today for the grace to love him, to love his presence, to love fellowship with him. That we will always love to dwell in his presence. That we would always love to be where he is in the name of Jesus. Begin to bless the name of the Lord, honor him and appreciate his word to us today. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. King of glory, we thank you for your word to us today. Thank you because our ears are open and our minds are ready to receive and to obey all that you would say to us. Lord, we ask that you would speak, Lord, for your servants. We, your children, are listening. Thank you, our dear Father. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. We have a key point in today's study that tells us, walk so close to God that you can hear from Him yourself. We receive the grace today to hear Him for ourselves and to obey His every instructions to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. We have in our Bible in one year reading plan for today to read from the book of Proverbs chapter 4 down to chapter 7. We also want to thank you and appreciate you today for joining us. God bless you. If you'd love to speak to someone or to receive updates like this sent to you, please do well to send a WhatsApp or Telegram message to plus 234-80-986-11226. Do well also to like, share, comment and subscribe to our various platforms available. Our hymn for today is the hymn 30 of our Open Heavens devotional. We'll be singing When We Walk With The Lord. As you go forth today, have an awesome time of fellowship in His presence. See you tomorrow again by God's grace. Remember that we love you greatly and God loves you too. God bless you and bye for now.
I believe today's devotional blessed you. We are always glad to hear from you. So leave us a comment. Let us know how this has blessed you. Also remember to follow us on all our social media handles to get more like this. You can share this with someone to bless them too. We gladly look forward to seeing you tomorrow again. Have a fulfilling day ahead. God bless you.